Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to make a few tests with this HTC One M9 uh, here for you. Uh, for all of you who are fans of Geekbench 3 and Antutu Benchmark, I'm going to run these two tests or basically just show you the results uh, that I've got from running these tests just a few minutes ago uh, in order for you to see how the HTC One M9 is uh, performing compared to other similar devices, smartphones that are running Android 5.02. So just a, a quick uh, note here that I have run the Ant2 benchmark with all the latest updates of that application just a couple of minutes ago. And because the test usually takes a couple of minutes to uh, finalize and get results for you, um, I've done that before I start recording. So you can see in detail here the result. Uh, HTC One M9 uh, is scoring almost 68,000 points. That's 67,999. And you can see the individual uh, scoring here. Um, when you go to rankings, just let me do that. Um, there is the list with um, other devices. And right at the end, well, not exactly at the end, but uh, on 16th place is uh, my device, HTC One M9, performing better than the iPhone 5S, but worse than Redmi Note 3, Nexus 6, uh, obviously Samsung Galaxy S6 as well, and so on and so on. As you can see, the performance is not amazing, and compared to other devices, probably on a cheaper price, you get there you get better results for less money so this was and to benchmark let's go ahead and open uh, the geekbench 3 i can run this test i've done it uh, a couple of minutes ago but i can run it again and show you what the results sh um, show again yeah, uh, just now because uh, it doesn't really take that long uh, for geekbench to run we are almost halfway uh, there. I have to say the HTC One M9 so far has been uh, just giving us an underwhelming experience. I'm not very happy with the phone. Uh, it lacks speed and multitasking is not very good. The actual build of the phone doesn't really feel good in my hand. Uh, it looks very solid with this um, panel at the back, but actually, it's very bulky, it's quite heavy as well. I also don't like the massive infrared port at the top and basically everything on the front and all the space that I am losing with having this HTC logo at the bottom and both speakers on the front. So these are the results now from Geekbench 3. Uh, you have single core score of 1112 and multi core score of 3628. So how is this uh, comparable with other devices? Nexus 9, HTC Nexus 9 uh, is uh, better, obviously. It has a greater score. Samsung Galaxy S6 as well. Motorola Nexus S, um, and Nexus 6 has less. So somewhere here between the Nexus 6 and Samsung Galaxy S6 on single core. And when it comes to, comes to multi core, the device 3628 uh, uh, comes uh, just here. Oh, sorry about that. I've received a notification between Nexus 9 and OnePlus 2. So, yeah, these are the results from Geekbench and Antutu benchmarking applications. Uh, I hope you've got the information you needed from this video. And if you did, and if you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up button. We really appreciate your support. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.